Hey y'all, today I'm going to be showing you how to use command blocks. The first thing we're going to need to do is go into traps. It's called traps and commands and you open it because you're going to have to type in a command here. It's going to be slash, slash give at p, which means the closest person to you. If you type at p in traps, it means you basically. Command underscore block. And then there, now push enter. And it should give you a command block. See? And I have a command block. Okay, now you're going to need to place it down now. You'll need to get a lever again. I'm getting the lever for this video. A button, a button works too. So now it's time to crouch and you place the lever on. Then you click on it. You can only type in command blocks if you're in creative mode. Even if you have cheats on and you're in survival, you can only do it in creative mode. So what we're going to do is we're going to be typing, I'm going to be showing you some commands you can First, give anybody any item slash div slash give at p, and then you can do any item like like a carrot, for example. And then you can just give yourself more and more carrots, and then you can do it with any item. You can do it with any item. But for things like spruce underscore, underscore door, you'll have to type it like that. Like if this is spruce door, instead of doing spruce door, you do spruce. You'll have to do like Bruce underscore what underscore like Bruce underscore log or Bruce underscore door. <clears throat> underscore. Okay. I'll do the door. Okay, there. Now you can just give yourself a whole bunch of spruce doors. If you want to change the type of door, then you can click the black arrow, the back arrow. Now let's go with a birch door. Underscores are kind of like your space bar. This is an underscore, and it's kind of like your space. Like we'll show you, it's a dark oak door. That's two words: dark and oak. And you'll have to do the commands like that. If you want doors like dark oak doors, you have to do it like that. And there. And you can give yourself any item. And then you can place them down. Yeah, you can give yourself literally every, anything. You can give yourself like infinite an infinite supply of netherite blocks with a command block. That's only if you have cheats on, then you can, that's only if you have cheats on, then you go into creative mode, then you switch back into survival. If you can just, but you know, I'm going to do like netherite underscore block, so Another way underscore block. And you can just give yourself infinite netherite. 
Okay, now on to the next command. You can summon any mod. Let's see. Slash summon command. Then you type in the mod type. You can do slime. Then you can summon a slime. And you can just summon infinite slimes. And now I need these guys to move now. Okay, there. And you can also give people any effects that you want to. You can do any effect that you want to. And you can do like the amount of time even and the level of strength of the effect. I'll show you how to do that. Slash slash effect at you know, then type in your effect. It can be any effect. Like these can be potion effects or like anything. Like what I mean by effect is like poison or jump boost or levitation or any, or things like that. Maybe you can do jump jump boost slash effect that p jump underscore boost see now i have jump boost wait this is not very strong jump boost but the point of jump boost is that you can jump up two block high spaces See that this is the default jump boost, so I guess it's not a very strong jump boost, but you can choose the strength of it also and the amount of time it is. Okay, so you're going to have to then type in some numbers. The first number is going to be the amount of time you want. You can do it like the same as the original time. I'm going to do the jump boost for 30 seconds, then after that, then you can type in the the strength of the jump boost you want to do. The maximum strength is 255. That's the maximum for any effect. If it's 260, if it's 260, you can't do it. If it's 256, then it won't allow you to do it. I'll just show you what happens if it's 256. First. See, it doesn't work. So we'll do 255. You can do any number 250 from 1 to 255. See? But look at how high you go with 255 jump boost. Okay, now it's gonna take a bit to go back down. Okay, and there. Imagine being able to get this amount of jump boost in survival mode. That would be cool, but it would also be like instant death. Also, getting this much jump boost would be like instant death in survival mode. Unless you have a water bucket. Yeah, and you can also like lower it. Like, if 255 is too much, you can lower it down to, like, like, 75. Let's try that out. 75. See, and this is how high 75 is. That still is really high jump boost. That still is, like, a lot of jump boost. It goes slightly above the clouds. And you can basically like just keep on jumping with these effects. And then you will eventually lose your jump boost. If you want it to last longer, then you can change the time. Like I'll go with 60 seconds, which is one minute instead of 30. 
And you can make this any amount of time you want to. You can make this a million seconds. Yeah, but if you, in case you accidentally make it a million seconds, there's also an effect command I need to show you that clears all effects. If you want to do that, then you'll change the command to slash effect clear. I'll show you. Like you accidentally put on the wrong effect, then like you can type in the command block slash effect at the clear. See in there, then you can get the jump boost, then you can jump if you want to, but if you think you gave it too long or you gave yourself too much jump this, you can do slash effect clear. And when you do that, see, I no longer have jump this. I can only jump one block. Yeah, so those are some basic commands. And I'll see you next time. So until then, Bye.